Hi everyone! I'm so glad you could join me today. Hey, I've got a question for you. Have you ever shared something with someone and they thought you were being outrageous or crazy? Be sure you discuss this with your family at home. For me, I've told my friends that drinking pickle juice is one of the most satisfying things ever. My friends thought I was crazy and gross. It's so good. Ugh. How about you? What is something you shared with someone and they thought you were outrageous or crazy? Well, in our story today, Paul the Apostle was in the same pickle. Did I say pickle? I totally meant Paul was in the same situation. Paul, along with other disciples, traveled from city to city by boat. Most people within the city welcomed them, listened to them, and became believers. Once Paul and the disciples shared the good news, they would hop back onto their boat making their way towards Jerusalem. Now, as they continued to stop at different cities, Paul found himself in a conversation with various prophets and disciples. These disciples and prophets had the same message, which came from God. They all told Paul that he should not go to Jerusalem. Why, you ask? Well, ever since the early church started in Jerusalem, there was much division between those who believed in the law of Moses and those who believed in Jesus. Unfortunately, many believers of Jesus were persecuted as a result. So these disciples and prophets had a valid concern for Paul's well-being. How do you think Paul responds to their pleas for him to stay out of Jerusalem? In Acts chapter 20, verses 22 through 24, Paul says this to them, And now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city the Holy Spirit warns me that prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me, if only I may finish the race and complete the task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. Well, there you have it. Paul had his heart set on going to Jerusalem to continue to do the good works of God, even if it meant imprisonment or even death. I don't know about you, but I would be a little bit afraid to step foot in Jerusalem during such a time. But Paul had a great faith in God and he was obedient, even when the Holy Spirit warned him about the hardships he would soon face. After Paul pronounced this decision, he prayed with his friends and then set sail to Jerusalem. Now, upon Paul's arrival, he is warmly greeted by the other believers. Once Paul and the disciples got settled into Jerusalem, their friends informed Paul of the thousands of Jews who didn't believe in what Paul had to say. In fact, these Jewish people thought Paul was trying to convince them to turn away from the laws of Moses, which wasn't the case at all. Plus, these angry men did not believe Gentiles were also considered children of God. So, once again, we find Paul's friends being quite concerned about his well-being while in Jerusalem. One day, some of the men who were upset with Paul's message spotted him at the temple, and they shouted, Men of Israel, help us! This is the man who teaches all men everywhere against our people and our law and this place. And besides, he has brought Greeks into the temple area and defiled this holy place. The whole city became stirred. Things got a little intense and soldiers were just about ready to arrest Paul. Now, just before they arrested Paul, he convinced the commander to allow him to speak to the angry mob of people. Paul continued to share his testimony, stating that he was also a Jew. He grew up in their city. He explained how he, too, was a firm believer of the law of Moses. 
In fact, he used to persecute Christians. Paul continued to share his story of how he was heading to Damascus one day and how Jesus spoke to him on the way, asking Paul why Paul was persecuting Jesus. Paul went on to explain further how he was blinded after his encounter with Jesus and how a man named Ananias was used by God to cure Paul's blindness. Paul also testified how God instructed him to teach the good news to the Gentiles. Now, how do you think the crowd responded to Paul's testimony? Do you think they believed Paul's testimony? Or do you think they arrested Paul? Well, you can find out by reading the rest of Acts chapter 22 at home with your family. Afterwards, be sure to continue the conversation with these discussion questions.